ان الحمد لله نحمده ونستعينه ونستغفره ونعوذ بالله من شرور انفسنا ومن سيئات اعمالنا من يهده الله فلا مضل له ومن يضلل فلا هادي له واشهد ان لا اله الا الله وحده لا شريك له وأشهد أن محمدا عبده ورسوله Dear brothers and sisters in Islam The race is on The final round is almost here What is your plan? Remember the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam and Jibreel alayhi salam made dua against a Muslim whom Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala prolongs his life or her life to live until the month of Ramadan and they come out and forgiven. Don't be amongst those dear brothers and sisters in Islam. In our religion, the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam taught us that إِنَّمَا الْأَعْمَالُ bilkhawatim. The final reward or outcome of any action, of any deed which you do, will be based upon the conclusion. And we read in so many of the statements of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam that someone may be living the life of the people of Jannah, meaning he is engaged in righteousness and piety. And when he is about to die, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala would change his course and he would engage in the actions of the people of hell. And because of the fact he concluded his life, with that, he ends up in hell. Likewise, someone who actually lived the style, the lifestyle of the people of hell, meaning a life of disobedience, and just right before death, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala would guide that person to change his course of life so that he would end up concluding his life with a righteous, pious act which would consequently lead that person to dwell or end up in Jannah. So regardless of what you have done, the first 20 nights of the month. Yes, you excelled, you kept up. Then the last 10 nights is not the time to give up. Rather, it's the time to elevate. And this is the practice of Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. His beloved wife, Aisha Radiallahu Anha, described his condition in different authentic narrations that he sallallahu alayhi wasallam used to strive in the last 10 nights of the month more than what he would do in the first 20 nights of the month. When the, la when the last 10 nights of the month are here, he would make his nights livable or lively, meaning alive, ahya layla. He would revive his nights. Normally nights, night time is a time to sleep, but he would wake up. Another wording, He would tighten the belt around his waist in reference to hard working and also in reference to secluding himself from a lawful pleasure, which is his wives. 
And of course, because he used to seclude himself in the masjid and certainly intercourse with one spouse is a violation, rather something that would invalidate your i'tikaf, your seclusion. لقوله تعالى ولا تباشروهن وأنتم عاكفون في المساجد Brothers and sisters in Islam, so if you belong to that rank of Muslims who did well the first 20 nights of the month, now the final round, the last 10, is not the time to let go, nor the time to decrease, rather it's the time to elevate and increase. And I furnished the evidence for you. Add to this, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala made the prize, P-R-I-Z, not the prize, the prize of the month to be hidden in the last 10 nights of the month. I'm talking about Laylatul Qadr, a night that if you would observe worship, obedience, to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, like worshipping Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for 83 years and four months. Imagine. بنص القرآن ليلة القدر خير من ألف شهر The night of power, the night of decree is far better than a thousand months. Why better? Because during the 83 years and four months, you would mix the days with sleep, with eating. You will not worship Allah completely, but worshiping Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala one night, as if you worshiped Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala completely, all the time you will be accounted or you will be rewarded as someone who worshiped Allah 83 and 4 months, 83 years and 4 months, non-stop, non-stop. That's why it's far better, much better. Brothers and sisters in Islam, inshallah, in future reminders, we'll talk about Laylatul Qadr. But again, my message is to the brothers and the sisters whom Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Allah guided and strengthened so that they had excelled the first 20 nights of the month, don't let go. Now we come to people, Muslims, who did not excel, who slacked, who did not appreciate that month, who mixed their actions with commitment, with they prayed one night, they skipped prayer the, the next night. And remember what I said at the very beginning? Imagine if you excel the last 10 nights of the month, it's done, you did it. See, that's the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala which He bestows upon us. Imagine the last 10 nights of the month if you coincide again and worship Allah one night out of these 10 nights of the month, number one, your sins will be forgiven. You could be written amongst those whom Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala would free from hell. You would be still written as someone who worshiped Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala 83 plus four months, 83 years plus four months. Add to this, brothers and sisters in Islam, you have earned the forgiveness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Brothers and sisters in Islam, this is an invitation to all of you not to find an excuse. Today, subhanallah, we just happened to be shooting this after observing a janazah. Imagine a brother 
whom Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala did not ordain for him to live the last ten nights of the month. May Allah have mercy on him. May Allah forgive him. Brothers and sisters in Islam, this could be the last ten nights in your lives. This could be the last Ramadan. And this could be the act with which you conclude your lives. Mobilize your forces. Get in the mood. Remove any obstacles. Strive. And the best way to guarantee this is to seclude yourself in the houses of Allah, in the masjid. Try to do this. Brothers and sisters in Islam, I love you all for the sake of Allah. And as we approach these 10 blessed nights, my heart goes to all of you. I make dua for myself that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala would grant me tawfiq and success in earning the rewards. And earning the reward of Laylatul Qadr. You know when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala spoke about Laylatul Qadr in the Quran, إِنَّا أَنزَلْنَاهُ فِي لَيْلَةِ الْقَدْرِ Indeed, we have revealed it in the night of power. وَمَا أَدْرَاكَ مَا لَيْلَةُ الْقَدْرِ I love that statement. Regardless of how much you imagine of virtue, of merits of this night, whatever you come up with, it's more than that. That is the best way to explain وَمَا أَدْرَاكَ مَا لَيْلَةُ الْقَدْرِ Only Allah knows the power and the importance of this night. Enough that Jibreel alayhi salam is in earth on this night and the angels. Angels will be filling earth saying ameen after your dua and bringing peace and tranquility. Brothers and sisters in Islam, don't waste the golden nights of the year. Don't waste this opportunity because of worldly excuses. Love you all for the sake of Allah. And I will see you once again, inshallah, on our Ramadan daily reminders. Imam Karim Abu Zaid. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.